Hello, I'm John D. Burns and I'm up here in the uh, magnificent Scottish Highlands. Uh, I'm about 600 feet up here. It's pretty nippy, I have to say. <laughs> um, but I'm here today. I want to give you a review of this jacket. It's uh, Clatter Munson's Breeder 2 jacket. Um, really pretty, pretty impressive piece of kit so far, I have to say. The first thing it impresses you, you can't really show this on uh, a video but the actual feel of the material is very very um, tough very very strong material uh, I often find with jackets that because I tend to carry a big rucksack a lot of the time and um, they tend to get worn out so I thought I'd bring you up here just to show you what it's like and to talk a bit more about this jacket and um, features I really like about it and uh, the first one is this that it's got the most amazing hood that uh, I can't fasten it right up because I'll vanish <laughs> but you it clips across there and then you've got this tremendous protection that you can see from the side that's really quite important I find particularly when you're in really bad conditions because you really want that that head protection so that you can walk into the wind uh, the other thing I would say about it is that um, it's incredibly comfortable to wear. Oh, you can see I've got a lot of freedom of movement. It, it's very well cut so that it sort of uh, clings to my, my sylph-like figure, you know. Uh, so I really like it so far. Um, other features I would say, the other feature I'd like to sort of show you, which I think is really impressive too, very clever idea. I'm sure you're all experienced being too hot. Well, there's a ventilation system here, which I'm struggling to open right now. Hang on. Uh, it comes yeah there it is as you can see you can actually open up both sides of the jacket and roll it up so in effect you're opening the whole jacket up uh, which gets a great circulation of air these um, these zips run right up under the arms it's almost as if you can sort of open the jacket in half um, which I think is a really good idea and um, I would also say that the, uh, the zip systems these are well constructed, they're really good zips. Um, and again, a problem with, with jackets sometimes can be the zips fail. So far, I've had this out in a variety of conditions. It's quite cold here, as you can see, and I'm warm. Uh, it's got, you know, this is this will stop any wind dead, no problem at all. Um, and so far, it's been incredibly comfortable. It's also got these really nice little storm cuffs that allow you to tighten the, the cuffs right up so it stops any wind getting up your sleeves or rain or snow or whatever. So overall, I'm really impressed with it so far. So what I'm going to do is, obviously, I've had it a couple of months, this jacket. Starting to take it out into the winter, starting to find out what it'll do. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to use this for a few months, use it through the winter and I'll come back and give you another report because I often think that reviews of uh, equipment when they're brand new aren't particularly useful. But this, this jacket I think is really durable. So I think, uh, I expect to get 10 years out of this jacket. It's not cheap. You know, you're paying a premium uh, price for a, uh, for a very high quality product. But I've been getting about three years out of a out of an outdoor shell jacket like this i reckon i'll get at least 10 years out of this and i think that, that means that it's a, it's a really good investment um so but i'll come back and i'll give you reviews and i'll find out if there are problems with the jacket or i experience anything that doesn't work or indeed it really impresses me i'll let you know how, how i've been getting on so i've been john d burns i don't know if you've read any of my books but uh my my fourth book about uh, my my wanderings in the scottish highlands uh, is called wild winter and that comes out in april of 2021 and uh, i really hope you'd enjoy that um thanks very much for watching and enjoy your outdoors